people have said, I was thinking that was a pretty strange result. But the network news told me everything was OK. So I didn't realize that there was a problem. Or I thought I was a little crazy. Or maybe I was a little paranoid. And as these people began to hear numerical evidence, anecdotal evidence, legal evidence, and began to see that there was a dots to be connected here, and enough dots to form a puntillist painting. <laughs> there was a picture that was emerging here from all of the available evidence and information. What we were asking in terms of a hard look and a reconsideration and a challenge to the reported results of this election was very threatening to the business community, to the political community, and in certain ways, in the short term, to Americans as a whole. It would have an impact on the economy. It would have an impact on our status abroad. But in the long term, what we have allowed to happen is far more threatening to all of those communities. There are times when I feel like we live in a, I live in a parallel universe. There's the truth that I share with people who are willing to look at some of these facts, are willing to investigate it. And then there's the accepted belief system. There's what you might hear on the nightly news. And that is very wearing over time. To allow fraudulent elections, to allow illegitimate administrations, to accept uh, a culture that is, is, is not based on truth in terms of not only policies, but in terms of a bedrock protocol, how it elects its leadership and sets its, its policy is in the long run far more destabilizing, far more destructive. So it's a bitter pill to swallow that our election system has been corrupted. There are no tanks rolling down Pennsylvania Avenue for us to observe and say, oh my God, there's been a military takeover. Let's go form a resistance. The, the genius of doing it through massive election fraud that sets the personnel and the policies of the government in place and entrenches it is that it doesn't provoke resistance. It's not visible. There's no assurance that elections are honest in this country. And that's unacceptable.